It's finally here. Our long-awaited Kitsune fruit has arrived. Thanks to people like Brett Dopio for modeling the Kitsune model, Shafi for making the moves come to life, and to other developers for integrating into the actual game. Now listen, before you watch this video, go watch the trailer plus showcase video on Game of Robot. It's very OP, Zillow's put a lot of effort into it. It's worth a watch, trust me. I'll put it at the top of the description for you. In this video, however, I'll be showing off some of the Kitsune skills and what you can do with it. And the fruit itself, how it works mechanically. We'll also be going over the new event revolving the Kitsune fruit and other rewards we'll be earning this update. One more thing, I want to thank you guys for helping us to get to 500,000 subscribers. I know by the time this video is uploaded, it's a bit late by now. However, this video is up and I just want to say there's currently a giveaway that I just started when I uploaded this video out in the Discord. There's two giveaways. Same as last time for when we hit 300,000 subscribers. I'm doing 50 permanent fruit or game pass giveaway. If you want a chance to win, go join the Discord in the description. Check the announcements channel. There will be a giveaway there for 30 fruits for 30 winners and then for people who are level three in the discord there'll be another giveaway for 20 winners so if you have two chances to, of winning and if you don't know how to level up you just gotta be an active member of course not don't spam you're gonna get yourself muted or picked or banned and you're gonna miss out on the giveaway be active in this channel you have plenty of time there's gonna be five days to enter after this video is uploaded easy thank you guys again we're halfway to a million subscribers and i'm really looking forward to hitting this milestone with you guys thank you again now let's get on with the video listen I know you guys went and saw the Game of Robot video, but I have to show you the Dragon Talent Trainer becoming a fox. Like, how can I miss out on doing that? We're gonna start with the M1s. Look at these. Hitsune is kind of like Electro Claw's mother, you know what I mean? In terms of the M1s. Look at how big these M1s are. How many M1s is it for a whole uh, sequence? One, two, three, four, five. Oh my God. We also have a bar that's filling up. This basically represents how many tails we grow. When we hit three tails and then like one af one more after that, we can fully transform into the Kitsune form. And basically how to do that is you just gotta let this bar fill up over time or use your skills on enemies uh, or in PVP to let it grow. So for instance, this is a Z move. Hold it down. Oh my God, look at this. Look at this pose. Look at me. Yo. Oh, okay, nice. That's a little bit delayed that that throws me off, but that's how it works. It latches onto them and does a whole attack. Oh, here we go. Now we got two tails and we're much faster and we're bouncing around like a fox. We also get new dashing animations. Look at these effects Shaffy put into this and the animations on the tail. Look at it. Oh my God. So like I said, when you use a skill, it also removes some of the bar progress. If you land it, it also fills it up. So that was a Z move. Now we have the X move. Oh yeah, hold on now. Let me see that again. <laughs> that was like some Sonic the Hedgehog kind of crap. See? <laughs> what the hell? All right, now we have three tails. I don't know what the three, the third tail does, but we also have these like glowing spirits around us. I don't remember if it kind of boosts our damage. I don't know what it, what it does, what it's supposed to do. I guess I could test it out. Normally this is 1,253 damage for the M1. The Z, how much damage is that? 3,491 X equals 3,601. So now what happens if I get an extra tail? Oh, pretty much the same damage. But what if I get three tails like this? Hold on. Same amount. Okay, so I don't think it boosts your damage. I know when you get two tails, you're running faster like this, but I'm pretty sure these are just for decoration, but that's still sick. Okay, so now the C move. Oh my God. <laughs> I know where this is from. Let's launch it. Yo, that did 5,729 damage, but it is, the, it is the new number one fruit. And then for the F move, we got the Swift Assault. All right, let's see this. Okay, that's kind of like Leopard's F. You just grab onto it, do something. That's still nice. I think now it's time we check out the transformation. What's this? Oh my God, yo, this is so sick. Look at the animations on this thing. Also, I don't have someone here with me right now, but Someone could ride on your back when you're allied with them. Like, kind of like a mount, but you're controlling them. You know what I mean? All right, we're going to see the skills on this. So the Z move. Okay, this is... Oh, my God. Bro. Look at this idol, bro. Look at the animation, man. Damn! Okay. We did some kind of claw attack. And then shot a, like a Kamehameha at them. All right, Tales of Burning Agony. Okay, X, same pose. Nah, okay. What are these? Wait, I don't remember this. I never I never saw all those tails before. Okay, so C move. Oh my god. How much damage is this gonna do? 
Oh my, 6,000? Almost 6,500. I was too focused on the damage. I didn't even watch it. Hold on. Yo, bro. Okay, now the swift assault. Let's see it. Nice. Oh my God. And then the M1s. Oh, these are a little bit different. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Damn, bro. This is kind of like a quick, fast, uh, fast-paced uh, fighting. Fruit. I mean, it's kind of like leopard, but it's like I don't know how to explain it. It's really quick. Let's fight a boss with it, K Queen or something. I don't know. Oh man, <laughs> that's so sick. This fruit's so cool, bro. I can't wait for the dragon rework. All right, so let's do this. I don't know. I don't even know how you would combo this fruit. Oh my god! I guess that's how. So I just started button spamming and I did something. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. And the M1s on this is kind of reliable too. You can do them in between attacks. At least for this enemy. I don't know how it's going to in terms of fighting a player. Oh yeah, we got dash animations too. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is freaking awesome, bro. Yo, I don't know why I'm geeking over... Like, I know Blockchain is the best game on the platform, man, but like, I never, a fruit never had me like this before. I just, I think I just really like the colors of this fruit. I really like the aesthetic of this fruit. Yeah, let's try it out of transformation too. Damn, I just did some kind of like roguelike dagger attack on them. <laughs> this is so cool. I love this fruit, but listen, not only is this fruit really cool, wait till you see the sword itself. Okay, so you need 350 mastery to get the second skill on this. This is what the M1s look like. Kind of like a rapier almost, the way you kind of do that little attack. It's a lantern. So how can it be a sword? Well, let me show you. So this is called Fox Lamp. This is the Z move. Okay. Are we some kind of in Hogwarts or something? All right, now let me do it. Call me. Yo, 5,000? I love this little animation. We're like wizards or something. We're not living in no pirate world. We're, li we're living in a wizard world. All right, now we got the X move. Hold on now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this is kind of, if you hold this skill down, it's like a flamethrower. And then you dash towards in that direction. But if you just press it, you lock onto them and still do the same sequence. It kind of has an opposite effect. This is gonna go really good with the Kitsune fruit. Another thing about the Kitsune fruit you, I forgot to mention is, so you might think, okay, cool. You could ride on your uh, friend's back while they're in a form. Now check this out. You can run on water. Now you can't stand on water. You just start drowning a little bit, but you can run on water. That's sick. This, and this is really helpful for the new uh, sea event, which I'm about to go over. Also, the new cost of the fruit, uh, it is now number one, and it's 4,000 Robux. Whether it's up to you, if it's worth it, I honestly think it's really worth it. It's a really great fruit, but man, hold on now. Or th it's, the, it's the number one. What is Dragon we were gonna be then? I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> Dragon's gotta claim its number one spot back, right? Okay, so now we have the new C event. Okay, to do the C event, you wanna go to a level six zone and have a full moon. So I'm gonna just run some commands to make this easier on me to show you guys quicker without wasting too much time. So we're in a level six zone. We're gonna get a full moon. Here's the new island C event. It's technically an island, right? And I don't know if it's supposed to be daytime when you get closer, but I'm very glad it is because I can see where it's at. And bro, look at this beautiful spot. Look at these shrines. Look at all the trees. Look how big these trees are. Huge props to Zartania for putting in the work on this island. This place is sick. And then look at this. We got some like carved out uh, Kitsune flooring. Like I mentioned, the Kitsune fruit will make this event a lot more easier. I'll show you what I mean. So we go up to the stone. You don't need Kitsune fruit to start it. We go up to it touch the statue a blue moon awakens hold on look at this what's going on in the background bring them back to me before the blue moon fades away or they will fade with it this is what i was talking about we now have a blue moon in the sky and if you saw that sequence there's a some kind of beam went up these little sprites these little spirits like went across different areas of the ocean what you want to do is have a boat with you and you start sailing and catching these sprites. These sprites will randomly spawn on you. They kind of look like these guys, but they're not it, trust. So to make it easier for me, uh, the Kitsune walk on water thing. Oh yeah, here we go. We got two sprites that already spawned. So you want to catch them and you'll get an Azure Ember material. 
and then we got another one and you would just want to keep going around before the blue moon fades away and trust you don't want to start collecting for too long because you want to roll these um embers that you catch for rewards just keep an eye on the moon and don't lose this island because if you stray too far away and it gets dark and you can't see where this island is and you get lost like that then you're gonna be in some trouble uh oh which direction is the island it's not that way this way there it is okay see like that like i almost got lost just now i could have been heading in the wrong direction lost the island and then the blue moon would have been over and like the dialogue said when this event ends your embers also despawn and of course you don't need kitsune fruit to do this this just helps um you could use any fruit you want ice magma would be good too because you'd be walking on the water or even just getting a boat that works just as fine all right we get this last one and then we're gonna go back to the shrine and i'll show you guys what to do so touch the shrine do you offer your azure embers to your shrine pray and we got some fragments so you want to keep using your spirits that you found until you run out we got more fragments there thank you for this reward what are you giving me what is what's this big flame sorry i'm, I'm still new to this vent so i'm kind of learning things as we go how many do i got left and it ended and i lost my azure stuff cool but that's how it goes <laughs> if you can get a title i think you can get the fox lamp from this event i'm pretty sure but it's all about based on how your luck is you can even get a physical copy of the kissing fruit if you're lucky enough you get a title there's a new aura color i actually have it equipped right now it's a gradient between a bunch of blue hues and purples so i think it, i think it's pretty nice so if, if you're in a festive mood for some kitsune drip you got the whole setup right here the fox lamp the kitsune fruit your little aura you're set up first of all this is the new kitsune fruit and it's all all its glory yes this is the physical fruit this is how it looks like pretty cool we also have two new accessories the kitsune mask and the kitsune ribbon so this is how it looks when you wear it and it's pretty nice i see that accessory grants you 10 percent more damage on block shoot attacks two extra instinct dodges 15 percent passive regen on fruit meters and 750 health wow this is really good if you're a kitsune fruit user then we have the ribbon this is how it looks like it lays on the back of your waist I see that accessory grants you 10% defense against block shoots attacks, 50% increased health regen, 30% faster run speed, 7 dash distance, 25% cooldown reduction on flash up, and 2500 energy. That's like the complete opposite of what the mask does. So the mask is kind of like if you're going for an aggressive build, and the ribbon is for if you're going to have like a passive or defensive build. Well, that's everything. I'm sorry if I missed anything, but this is what I learned. And if this helped you, then that'd mean a lot to leave a like on the video. Yeah. And if you want to see Kitsune related videos, comment down below your ideas on what i should do oh whoa what is that i just already found a bug what is this with the ribbon i'm gonna have to report that <laughs> i'm this but yeah anyways thank you for watching don't forget if you want to enter the giveaway for us hitting 500k join the discord in the description and meow